Welcome back to my garage. I know you were probably looking forward to going out to the woods again, so am I, but it's spring here and the woods are extremely mucky at the moment, so it's really not a fun time to be out on the land. Um, so in the meantime, I thought I would give you a quick look of my chainsaw equipment. Since I'm new to the whole wood cutting and chainsaw experience, I didn't want to go all out and buy a whole professional wood cutting kit uh, for something I wasn't sure I would like doing. So I feel like the kit that I have is really the very basic necessities. Um, I'm a bit of a stickler for safety, so this is really the very, very basics of what I think you'd need to get started safely. So we're going to start from the top and work our way down. So to do that, we're going to start with the helmet. I have a Cask uh, Super Plasma HD helmet. This one is uh, specifically made for um, arborists or people who work in wood, wood cutting um, profession. It has a lot of ventilation grids on the top, so um, I don't think it'll get too hot. It's pretty light. Um, mine came with the uh, 3M Optime 101 Peltor uh, earmuffs, and they're attached to the helmet with an adapter, which also serves as the attachment for the visor. Um, the visor is just a straight up uh, grill, uh, which I like because it protects most of my face. And uh, when you're cutting small branches and carrying small branches, you will be surprised at how many will find your face. So good idea to have as much of it covered as possible. Um, this helmet is adjustable with the little adjustment wheel on the back here. And I got started wood cutting in the winter. So I always had a small toque on underneath my helmet and that fit perfectly. Now that temperatures are getting a bit warmer, I find it's a little bit big for me without, uh, without a toque on underneath. Um, but if I style my hair bigger <laughs> in the back, uh, it's still a perfect fit. So I really enjoy this helmet. It's very comfortable. I often forget I'm wearing it and end up getting back in the car to leave at the end of the day. And I'm like, man, why, am I, why is my head hitting the ceiling? And it's because I forgot I was wearing my helmet. So really good. It's padded on the inside and um, very comfortable to wear. Even the chin, the chin strap here is one of the more comfortable ones I've had. Nothing sharp or scratchy in there and very easy to adjust. You can see it kind of wobbles a little bit because my hair is not big <laughs> right now and I don't have a hat. But once the earmuffs are down and snapped in, it holds it steady anyway, so there really isn't a problem with the slightly too big sizing. And you can see the visor comes all the way down to my chin, so it stops um, sawdust from flying up under the, vi the visor as well. So very happy with this helmet. 1010 would recommend. Okay, so next stop on our head to toe chainsaw equipment quick look will be the gloves. When I first got started, I was thrilled to find a pair of work gloves that fit me. This was a real challenge for me. I have pretty small hands and most of uh, the stores in my area cater to, um, honestly, to, they cater to men. So the, <laughs> the sizings are usually pretty big for me, but um, I was really happy to find these and I like them a lot. They're just uh, the steel um, white leather gloves and they have a red kind of felt inside. They're soft, they're comfortable, uh, they're not stiff at all, so I really like the dexterity I had with them. There was one problem that I did uh, end up noticing was that when I first got started at the end of the day, my hands were killing me. They hurt a lot, especially my left hand from holding the saw all day. Um, so I decided to try some uh, anti-vibration gloves, which I have right here. So these are the gloves I use now. You can see that they are padded in the palm and down the index finger. I've used them so much, you <laughs> see they're already wearing through in the finger. And they also have a Velcro um, back here that holds them on your hand. Um, this actually helped a lot. I think that a lot of the pain I was having was obviously due to me being so new to it and holding this, um, like it's not super heavy, but holding a, a weight in my hand all day. But um, I think part of that was due to the vibration from the saw. I know the saw has some anti-vibration uh, uh, properties, but um, it wasn't enough. So with the gloves, I did notice a difference and I had a lot less pain 
at the end of the day from holding this off. So really like these gloves. And also um, the Velcro on the back was great because sometimes with the other ones, I would toss a log and they would actually get stuck to the log and go flying with it. So the Velcro is actually pretty helpful. At least it keeps the gloves on my hand. Um, so these are from Steel and they're the anti-vibration gloves. I really like these gloves. So if I had to uh, rebuy my whole kit over again, I probably wouldn't have gotten the white ones and just gotten these ones right away. The fit isn't quite as, uh, doesn't feel quite as nice as with the white gloves, but the anti-vibration and the Velcro that keeps the glove on my hand um, are really some big pluses and they really outweigh the fact that they're slightly less comfortable than, uh, than these ones. Next up, we have the chainsaw pants. Uh, mine are from Hasbarna. Uh, these ones are uh, the best fitting ones I could find for myself since they're usually too big and they are still a little bit too big for me. But I really like them. They have um, protective material all the way around the bottom part of the legs. Um, a lot of them only have it on the front, but these go all the way around. Um, they have zipper pockets in the back for keys or small things that you could lose and reinforced seat and the back part here let's see, this fabric here on the back and behind the knees is more uh, is a really breathable thin fabric um, so for me wood cutting in the winter these were really great These were really great because I could wear um, layers underneath them and, uh, and then that way I was, I was perfectly comfortable even when it was really cold. The coldest I ever went uh, wood cutting was probably minus 18 and with these I had two, two pairs of long johns on underneath and uh, they were fine. Um, one thing I've noticed since it's gotten warmer is I'm wearing less under layers and I find that they are now a little bit too big <laughs> without the extra layers underneath but I found a a little way to adjust them when they're buttoned. I just take the first belt loop and hook it on the button. And that's my little small person big chainsaw pants hack. So I would consider getting a lighter pair for summer if we end up doing a lot of woodworking in the summer. Um, just because I feel like these ones are, are quite heavy and the fact that they have um, the protective fabric all the way around the bottom makes them that much more heavy and, and warm. Um, so I might be on the lookout for uh, a slightly smaller and lighter pair for uh, the warmer months. So now we're on to my favorite piece of equipment, the chainsaw boots. Um, I had a really hard time shopping for chainsaw boots, finding ones that fit my feet and that uh, were cost effective because it's possible to find right, the right sized um, equipment for myself, but usually there's a, there's a small person premium to be paid, so they are often you have to order them or they are very expensive. These are the Viking Bushwhacker boots. These are actually a little bit big for me, so I was, I was initially disappointed. But I was pretty much resigned to getting um, a boot that wouldn't fit me properly that uh, I would eventually need to change. But just to get started, I decided to, to go ahead and get them. Um, so because they're a bit big for me at the store, they gave me these um, Bamas. These are like uh, little slippers you wear inside the boots. And with these, they fit perfectly. They are so comfortable and so warm that they became my winter boots. I wore these all winter to shovel, to go to the grocery store, to walk to my garage, everything. They are, have exceeded all expectations, honestly. The whole part um, that's orange in the front is the chainsaw protective uh, material. And they also have metal cap toes. The back is a reinforced um, here to protect the Achilles tendon. And they also have this chunk um, of black rubber on the back so you can really easily heel toe them off when you get in from outside. Otherwise, they're made of actual rubber, um, so they don't crack in the cold. And the sole is really thick, so that's really good insulation against the cold ground um, in the winter. For wood cutting, I actually don't use the Bamas. I use these just when I'm doing my daily, daily walking around. <laughs> 
Uh, when I go wood cutting, I wear two thick pairs of wool socks in here and it was perfect. Even on minus 18 days, I wasn't cold at all. And my chainsaw pants fit over them. So it was perfect for keeping the snow out even when we had really deep snow this winter. So these, um, if you're looking for chainsaw boots, um, do give these a chance. They have exceeded all expectations and I couldn't be happier. Finally, we have the chainsaw. Just move these over here so you can see it. Um, you should know by now, mine is the Steel MS-170 and this is one of their smaller homeowner models. Um, so it's one of the, um, really is one of the like le least heavy duty uh, saws I guess that they have. Um, I thought it would be a good starter saw since it's one of their lightest. It weighs in about eight and a half pounds and um, it can have a bar of 12 to, 14, to, 12 to 16 inches and uh, I went with a 14 inch bar. I was pretty intimidated by it at first, even if it's a, if it's one of the smaller ones, having never handled a chainsaw before, but I got comfortable with it fairly quickly. Uh, it's easy to use, easy to start, um, has some really good safety features. Start button uh, is back here, easy to reach. Dead man's trigger on the handle as well. And of course the chain break. Um, I had a little trouble with the chain break at first, just because my hands are, are quite small, so reaching to pull the chain break back uh, took a bit of practice before I found a way to do it um, properly, and also my hands got a bit stronger, I think, <laughs> uh, as a, the more of it I did. So um, that was one thing I noticed as a person with small hands, is I found that while holding the full weight of the saw, reaching for the chain break was a little bit difficult at first. But uh, it gets better with time, so if uh, you do have one and you find it uh, tricky, just don't give up and uh, you'll find you'll, you'll get used to it fairly, fairly quickly. I'm really happy with this saw. I'm very comfortable with it now and really enjoy using it. So no regrets um, for the Steel MS-170. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at my chainsaw starter kit. And if you're considering getting started in uh, chainsawing that you found uh, the video helpful, um, hopefully next time I see you, we'll be back out on the land for some more outdoor adventures. And until then, take care guys. Bye.